as I looked at the last of these decks ready to throw him into the fire I feel like he's been burning for so long I had a strange feeling a feeling that just rushed over me that striked me and before I knew it I was in a weird world with new cards my clothes have changed is different. I always thought I'd love to play with cards and I turned out I was pretty good at it. Maybe SR on the table would say too good. They threw me outside and I was worried about what they were going to do to me. But then I felt something in my back pocket burning working its way to my hand and then again a strange feeling and then transformed again to another world with new clothes a new deck of cards new glasses and these cards felt so good working their way through my hands I felt the magic and then again that feeling through my body, everything just went cold. And I found myself on some intergalactic spaceship. I felt at home. Maybe it's because I wasn't sure where I was. But these cards floating around me found their way into my hand as if I was controlling it with my mind. But I felt something coming closer. Something dangerous. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on Chasing the Illusion. Now I hope you enjoyed that intro, it's a little bit different to the kind of cardistry videos that I usually do when I do uh, card reviews, because this is what the video is, uh, but as soon as these cards were revealed, I instantly had this idea to do what you've just seen. Hopefully it turned out alright, I actually haven't filmed it or edited it or anything yet, because I actually haven't opened up the cards yet, because I wanted to have my first reaction on camera so everyone can see it. So the idea of the intro came about having a different world because the 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 first decks of cards the creators created, obviously because they're creators, they, um, they made the dystopian deck and they are probably my top cards, my favourite cards, the ones I go out with near enough every single day, genuinely it's what I do. And I loved the world I created, I made two videos on, on, on the, the, normal, the original version and the dark dystopian deck and uh, and I created worlds and videos and I just wanted to do something a little bit different with this deck to show that they are completely different but uh, without any further ado let's get on with the first deck of cards because that's the whole reason why you're watching this video right so let's get the first of the three out of the way uh, is I believe it's the, the the original of the three it's the it's called the strikers collection right so these are the strikers I I'm aware that uh, you can't see anything until I turn it around and you can actually see the back design right there. Um, like I said, it's very different compared to the, the dystopian deck, but I won't go on about the dystopian deck anymore because these are completely different to what those decks were. i tell you what, I really like the minimalism, is that even the word? Minimalist design of it with nothing on the front because usually they have something on the front of them. Um, and then the, the back design on the back, which is kind of like a casino style, which I know Kevin and Ari are wanting to create. The creators, I haven't named them yet in the video. It's bad of me, so sorry guys. Um, but yeah, I know they wanted to go with a kind of casino style, which is very reminiscent with this back design. Um, and the fact that there's nothing on the front, minimalist, I like it. I actually, I actually like it because I don't know if, if you guys think the same as what I do, but you know, it's no point making the, the boxes stand out because all you do is just 
put them on the table or in your pocket. You know, it's it's all about the cards for me anyway. So, but yeah, that that is the box. There is some things on the side. So it's got 1601 on there. It's got Kevin and, and, and Aria's names on there. And then prototype edition, because these are the prototypes. Because Kevin and Aria sent me the uh, the prototypes, which I'm very thankful for. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a huge honour to actually you know, have these before. The Kickstarter is, is, uh, is, is, has been 100% back to which I'm sure it will. I'm sure it will. But um, that's actually crack open the deck. I'm actually really excited for this because oh, I've been waiting for these for ages. Okay, so straight out of the box, they don't have the wrapping. I love that because there's nothing worse than opening up or trying to get the, the, the wrapping for the, the tuck box to get into the box. And then when you get the cards out, there's, there's more wrapping. So I'm, I'm very thankful there isn't any wrapping on this one. And... Uh, yeah, they, they, they feel great. They they feel for prototypes anyway. Oh, that looks good. I'll show you guys in a second. But uh, we've got the cut card again, very reminiscent of a casino deck. Um, I know uh, they both wanted to put one in there for this. That, drop it on the floor. Card reviews of Chase. <laughs> so yeah, they put a cut card that they use in casinos. Um, Cavern even released a trick that you can do with the cut card on his YouTube channel. So make sure you check that out. You probably have anyway. Uh, so that's the cut card. The Ace of Spades, my favourite card, is very, very nice actually. Let's have a, let's have a little look at this. I'll, I haven't had a look yet, but uh, I'll let the camera see first. Uh, I've only seen videos of it and pictures of it, but uh, let's have a look. It's so a CVM Playing Cards Company, Manchester, UK. It's official. I like it. Finest quality. Well, I wonder why, why they chose the the, the design inside the the Ace of Space. There a reason for that? No idea. I like it though. I like it. It's very, it's very classic. It's very you know. It's not very modern. Which which I'm fine with. I'm absolutely fine with. And then obviously we've got the the, the back design, for the back design that we've we've seen on the tuck box and you've seen all over social media. I like it though. I like. I really like them. I the, these these need to be funded. If you haven't went on the Kickstarter, which will be in my description. If you if you haven't funded, you know, or, or backed this project, you really should because I feel like I'm going to have a couple full of these ones. And I love the fact that they're. Uh, they're borderless again like casinos i know the next deck of cards that we're going to go through and are have got borders uh, there's a reason for it which i'm sure we'll get to but you know they're borderless so it makes cheating in a casino a lot easier you know if you're doing uh, i won't give anything away but um It means card cheating is a lot easier, which is a uh, perfect. Anyway, let's get on to the next deck, which is probably the one I'm most excited for. Ah, before we do, sorry, um, we didn't go through uh, the Jokers. The Jokers are super cool. Again, classic, like the Ace, um, or classic-ish with a little twist to it. I tell you what, I mean, I like them both. But that one, this one just speaks to me. And I, and I, I don't know why, but this one just speaks to me. I like them both. But yeah, now let's go on to the second deck. Ah, I'm like a kid at Christmas. I've got three decks of cards to go through. And, and this is like my birthday. Anyway, these are the ones I'm most excited for, like I've said. So we have now got the workers. I don't get what it is. Oh, I love this. I love the, the white and the black. It's different compared to the green. Of the, of the strikers, um, much more classic, much more um, up my street, you know, I, I like, I don't think I've really got many black and white cards, so very exciting, but these, hence why I named the workers, I suppose, is for magicians, right? So it's, it's, it's for magicians, it's gonna have some cool stuff in there, which I'm sure we'll get into, but again, let's go through the tuck box. So the tuck box is exactly the same as the, 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 the strikers, it's plain on the front, obviously it's white this time, You've got the back design on the back there, borderless, like I did say, and um, exactly the same things on the sides, yeah? Apart from the fact it says Workers Edition on that side. But, this is what I'm excited for. Let's open up the box and get into the cards. Oh, I'm so giddy, man. Okay, so straight out of the box, uh, again, it's not wrapped. Thank you for not wrapping it. Um, but the Ace of Spades this time, 
the ace of spades is not green like the strikers it is plain black sorry my fingers are in the way it's plain black so it oh it just for me makes my life or makes makes my soul a lot happier not that i don't mind the green i like the green i love the green it's a little bit different i don't have many green decks but black and white classic magician -y, love it right let's go through the rest of it so unlike the strikers you don't have the cut card that you have in the casino but you do have a blank card which is always great for a magician to use i suppose i always use them anyway you've also got a double backer mm. Very helpful, very good if you if you're doing other sleight of hand moves, which I love to do. And uh, my favourite, my go-to gaff trick is the uh, is the angle Z. Again, I won't show it, but this is an angle Z card. It is the three of spades. Um, love the angle Z trick. Um, so thank you for putting it in the uh, <laughs> in the workers edition with that deck of cards. It's very good. But I am sure, I am sure that there is also a, another secret to this deck. I believe it's marked. Yeah, I believe it's marked. I haven't tried to see the uh, the, 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 the markings or, or the design for it. All I know is it's, it's quite easy to read. I haven't looked at it yet, it's quite easy to read, but it shouldn't put you off. It's bold on purpose, apparently. Uh, but I won't show you how, how bold it is because I haven't looked myself, but let's have a look. Oh. I see it, I see it, but I tell you what, if you're not a magician and you're not looking for it, you're not going to see it, honestly. I mean, obviously, I know this is the Ace of Diamonds anyway because it's, I haven't shuffled it up yet, but that is beautiful. Actually, have I showed you the back design yet? Probably should show you the back design, right? The fact that it's not borderless. Sorry, I'm just so excited, man. <laughs> this is the worst car review ever. Oh, I love it, though. Right, let me show you. Let me just prove to you how cool it is and easy to read the markings let's have a look so this is the ten of clubs i'm gonna guess ten of clubs oh yeah 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 ten of clubs okay so shuffle these cards up let's have a let's have a proper debate again at arm's length though at arm's length you can clearly see what it is ten of hearts <laughs> ten and ten can i do it again <laughs> watch me foul watch me foul here we go no, it's not. It's the two of clubs this time. <laughs> it's the two of clubs. Okay, it would be cool if we could have got the, uh, the, the the all four, all four tens, like a true magician. But as much as it's bold, as much as the the the, the marked marking system is is bold, don't be put off by it. Generally, it's 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 it's, it's special. It's beautiful, actually. Good job, team. Good job, guys. <laughs> I love it. I love it. But. There is one more. There is one more deck. And I'm super excited for that one as well. Like all of them, I'm super excited for it. Let's get into the third deck. Ah, before I do, sorry to keep you guys waiting. Um, one thing I did forget to say about the uh, the tuck boxes is... Oh, in the... Can you see that very well? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Right, so yeah, on the inside they've got different symbols on there. But they're cool. But <laughs> they're cool. I like it. I like it. I wonder what they've got on the uh, on the next deck. On the next deck. Okay. So I don't know really know how I'm going to word, <laughs> word this without uh, getting anyone in trouble. But these are the uh, the intergalactic edition. Here you go. The intergalactic edition again, black, yellow, reminiscent of a film franchise that I won't say. You're welcome. Um, I mean, can I do this without messing up my camera? Have you have you seen what I've got on the sides? Um, <laughs> spoiler alert! Oh god, the camera's all messed up now. Oh, well done, Chase. Is that right? Yeah. That, that, mm -hmm. Is that all right? Yeah, that will do. Right, Intergalactic. Like a film franchise that I, <laughs> I won't name. So um, again, you've got the back design on the back, plane at the front on the sides. You've got long, from long, long ago. Reminiscent of 
something else, which I like, brilliant. And uh, a prototype, everything else is exactly the same. Black, yellow, nice colors. Black and yellow, black and yellow. Haven't heard that song in a while. That shot at my age. Anyway, let's, uh, let's crack these open and see what they look like. These are beautiful. <laughs> these are absolutely beautiful. I should really do that with the other shoe and I spread them out like that because that's the whole point. You know, look how beautiful they look spread out like this. Wow, 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 wow. So yeah, the Ace of Spades is black again, exactly the same as the other ones, but black like the uh, the workers. Um, is there any, any secrets in this? I don't know. I don't know, let's have a little look. Yeah, you've got three extra playing cards. And, and uh, yeah, you've got three extra playing cards. Brilliant, brilliant. Always good to have duplicates, always good to have duplicates. Oh, I tell you what, intergalactic. Oh, I don't know which one's my favourite. I feel like the stri the strikers are the strikers are the original. The strikers are great. The strikers are oh, the whole point of it. They're the, the, the original for it. I was super excited about the workers because I'm a working magician and I can see the benefits for the gaffs in the marked deck. And then I'm a massive nerd. So, um, so th these speak speak to me. These speak to me, man. Um, so yeah, I actually don't know which one's my favourite. All I can say is please back the project because I'm going to be selfish and I want as many as these as possible. So if these get backed, then thank you very much, Lee. Link will be in the description. And also thank you very much to Kevin and Aria for sending me the prototypes again. Now I've said it before, but it does really mean a lot to me that you've sent in stuff to me that I can review, not even review, just to play with, because trust me, I'm going out later today and I will be taking, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know which ones I'll take with you. Well, I'll definitely take one of them with me, because um, taking two is a little bit excessive. All three, you know what? I'll just take all three out on whatever calls to me. Now, I am planning on doing a behind the scenes on how I filmed the intro, however that turns out. So if you want to check that out, check it out and that will be available on my patreon which is the chaste membership it'll be available for all tiers not just the top couple of tiers it'll be on the basic one pound one dollar whatever it is on my website down in the description again um and i'm also bringing out a new project will be coming out in a couple of weeks called off peak travel it's a um it's a way to guess what people are thinking I suppose or what they wrote down uh, won't go into it I'm hoping hoping that I can film some things with that yeah get your words out Chase that'll be coming out soon so keep an eye on that uh, but apart from that again thank you so much for watching thank you uh, to the creators for sending me these prototypes and uh, I'll see you in the next video Oh, I'm going to spend the next 20 minutes playing with these. I know that. Goodbye.